NASA and SpaceX. Join hands to open an international space hotel and the price is $55 million per bed. Yes, you heard it correctly. Hi, welcome to Maya. And you are watching Galaxy Rocketing Topic of Earth, International Space Hotel. Six decades in, the space age is marching steadily into its commercial phase. Allowing more and more private individuals to purchase passage beyond Earth's atmosphere. In just the past few months, the billionaires, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, have paid to cross or arrive at the edge of the Kerman Line. Kerman Line is the boundary between our atmosphere and outer space. Beside a budding clientele of Bezos and Branson stature, the era of full-fledged pleasure trips to space seems at hand, even for a multi-day escape. Since we successfully landed on the moon, humans always wanted to travel space and experience the outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Soon that dream is set to become reality. The hotel will begin construction in 2026 and could be open for businesses in late 2027. The idea of a space hotel is a large space structure that is around 240 meters long. It consists of four sections, the energy supply, a guest room module, a public area, and a platform. The space hotel would float in a low Earth orbit and would allow people who have not received any training to enjoy space travel. Orbital Assembly Corporation, a famous space construction firm, is currently working on a new space hotel. When complete, the hotel will offer an otherworldly vacation to travelers. Orbital Assembly Corporation constructs develops and manages gravity-capable space platforms on orbit, in cislunar space, and throughout the solar system, enabling society to work, play, and thrive in the space ecosystem. The Voyager space station will be made in a circle design. The planned orbit and elevation for Voyager station is 97 degree and 500 to 550 kilometers from Earth's surface in a sun-synchronous orbit. This means the space hotel will be synchronized to always be in the same fixed position relative to the sun, helping reduce thermal stress and allowing for almost continuous solar power generation. To make it hospitable for humans there will be artificial gravity to live the same as Earth. Can also change the level of gravity while altering the rate of rotation. Now talk about the affordability for the common man. Only 3.5 day long trip will cost 5 million. Hence only billionaires can think of going to space. Sounds big amount but it quite cheaper than the SpaceX's 55 million flight to space station. And there will not be luxury facilities like a restaurant, bar, concert hall, comfortable rooms, gym, and cinema hall, like Voyager. Voyager plan to provide the same facilities as a five-star hotel. Projected costs for the build are estimated at $60 billion. In comparison, the International Space Station cost $150 billion and has a crew of seven, more during a handover. Voyager is projected to accommodate 100 crew and 300 guests. Now my final notes. We are in the new era of the space race. Maybe in 15 years from now it is possible for non-millionaires to travel to the moon, Mars, or any hospitable planet for humans in space. But before that, we need enough research and technology to accomplish them.
I want your input on that. What do you think about this? Please comment below, like and share, subscribe and hit the notification button.